Prince Goshi Krishna Chaitanya Pravani Tyananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Kija Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopal Gopina Shyama Kumrada Kundagiri Gauravadam Kija Brenda Vandam Kija Mathura Dam Kija Navadup Maipu Dam Kija Jagannath Puri Dam Kija Jamuna Mai Kija Ganges Mai Kija Tulasi Devi Kija Bhakti Devi ki jai, Samaveta Bhakti Vrinda ki jai, Nitai Gauda Pramananda, All Glories Assembled Devotees, All Glories Assembled Devotees, All Glories Assembled Devotees, All Glories to Shishi Guru Shri Gauranga. Namo Vishnu Padya Krishna Pritai Guta Deshmata, Bhakti Chacha Shanta Mr. Krishna Pala Shanta, Gauda Karana Shakti Bhakti Chacha Jai. Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narutamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudirayet Nastaparaisa Badrishu Pityam Bhagavata Sivaya Bhagavati Uttama Sulukhi Bhaktir Bhavati Nashti Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Agyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshulul Militam Dena Tashmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Pistam Stapisam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantika Vandiham Sri Gurun Sri Yutapada Kamala Sri Gurun Vaishnavamsa Sri Rupam Sagajatam Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Visakan Vitamsha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpati Gopi Sai Gopi Ka Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapta Kanchana Gopangi Radha Vrindavanishwari 
Prisavana Sute Devi Panamami Hadi Priye Vanchakal Pataru Vyascha Kripa Sundu Vyayevacha Patitanam Pavane Vyo Vaishnava Vyo Namo Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Grant the Rasimban Bhagavatam ki Sila Prabhupada ki Reading from Simad Bhagavatam Can to 10 Chapter 33 the Rasa dance, takes 26 and 27. Thank you. Sri Parikshiruvacha Sri Parikshiruvacha Samstapanaya Dharmasya Samstapanaya Dharmasya Prasamayeta Drashacha Avatir no hi bhagavan, Amsena jagad ishwara, Sakatam dharma se tuna, Bhakta karata dirakshita, Atipam achara brahman. Paradara bi marasanam Sri Parikshiduvacha Samstapanaya dharmasya Prasamayetarashacha Avatirnohi Bhagavan Amsena Jagadishwara Sakatam Dharma Setuna Bhakta Karta Birakshita Pratipam Achara Brahman Paradara Bimarashanam Shri Parikshiduvacha Samstapanaya Dharmasya Prasameya Prasamayetarashacha Abhartino hi Bhagavan Amsena Jagadishwara Sakatam dharma se tuna Bhakta karata birakshita Pratipam achara brahman Paradara bimarasanam Shri Parakshidu Vacha Samsapanaya Dharmasya Asamayeta Dasyata
कंसेना जगदीश्वरा परीक्षित उवाचा श्री परीक्षित महाराज सेड समस्तापनाया फॉर द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट धर्मशिया ऑफ रिलिजियस प्रिंसिपल्स प्रसमाया फॉर द for the subduing itarashia of the opposite cha and abatirnaha descended upon this earth he indeed bhagwan the supreme personality of godhead Am Sena, with his plenary expansion, Sri Balaram, Jagat, of the entire universe, Ishwara, the Lord, Saha, He, Katam, How, Dharma Setunam. Of the restrictive codes of moral behavior, Vakta, the original speaker, Karta, the executor, Abhirakshita, the protector, Patipam, contrary, Acharyat, behaved, Brahman. O Brahmana, Brahmana. Sukadeva Goswami. Goswami, Para, Para. of others, Dara. Dara, the wives, Abhimara Sanam, touching. Translation and the purport. Parikshit Maharaj said, O Brahmana, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Lord of the universe has descended to this earth along with his plenary portion to destroy irreligion and re-establish religious principles. Indeed, he is original speaker, follower and guardian of moral laws. How then could he have violated them by touching other men's wives? Let's repeat. Parishad Mahana said, O oh Brahmana, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Lord of the universe, has descended on this earth along with his plenary portion to destroy irreligion and re-establish religious principles. Indeed, he is original speaker, follower, 
and guardian of moral laws. How then could he have violated them by touching other men's wives? And Sugade Goswami was speaking. King Parikshit noticed that some persons seated in assembly on the bank of the Ganges were harboring doubt about the Lord's activities. These doubtful persons were Karmis, Gyanis, and others who were not devotees of the Lord. To clear up their doubt, King Parikshit asked this question on their behalf. Hare Krishna. My dear friend, Hare Krishna. <coughs> Here we can see the, the wonderful quality of devotee, a devotee. Like Parikshit Maharaj, he is concerned about the Karmis, the Gyanis, and other non devotees. Considering the, the offenses they are making in their mind, he is asking his spiritual master to help them speak something which will clear their doubts. So he is asking, some stop on your dharma shia. Lord Krishna, in Bhagavad Gita, he said, Paditanaya sadhunam, vinasaya cha duskritam, dharma samtanar paya, yuge yuge sambhava ami. To re-establish religious principle, helping the devotees, Krishna descended, Avartina, along with Amsena, his expansion of Balaram, they came, as Sutta Goswami said, this country, disguised as dramatic actors. And they performed wonderful, innumerable pastimes. The whole purpose of activities was to help us get connected. Because material existence means that we are, our connection with Krishna is temporarily covered over. And therefore, to re establish this process. So he came with his brother, Lord Balaram. And he did. He is Bhagwan and he is the Lord of the universe. He spoke in Bhagavad Gita. For those who are miserable in this material world. Huh? When, when any company manufactured any project, and the product, they will give a manual how to operate it. The supreme perspective of Godhead, who is the supreme manufacturer of everything, after creating this material world, he did not leave us alone. He also gave the manual, which is Bhagavad Gita. 
By studying Bhagavad Gita, one can understand where is our position in this world? What is the position of the Supreme Presidency of Godhead? How things are perfectly arranged? Bhagavad Gita explains everything in detail. And by studying Gita, one will become free from the illusion of material existence, from the entanglement of material existence, and attain perfection. Parishad Mahana is so sugar, is so Krishna doing this. So, Sayakatam Dharma say to Nam, how is it possible for a person who came to set a religious principle? A Krishna came to set religious principle because he has seen irreligious activities becoming religion in Kali Yuga. Irreligious activities are religion in Kali Yuga, and majority of people are following that. He's taking upon us, huh? out of his costless mercy, he came to re-establish the process so we can follow. And after establishing this, we have seen that here in Bandavan, Krishna has, hmm, the, top, the, the, cha the heading chapter is Rasa Dance. Krishna has danced with young girls, other people's wives. Adultery is not activity for a gentle person. Like in my village, the best and the easiest way for one to die is to commit adultery, to go after someone's wife. It's the easiest way for anyone to die. So if you want to die fast, go for other people's wife. You will not last more than a month. So adultery is not activity for a gentle person. It is a serious consequence huh? that comes from it. Lord Ramchanda, he killed Bali. Uh, he, he is a supreme personality of God. He knows the law. And in his personality, he came, all his activities were perfect according to the scripture. He never acted outside the scripture. So killing someone who is not fighting with you it's not in the scripture. It's against the scriptural rule. Lord Ramachandra did it. When he shot Bali, Bali turned and looked at him. I am not fighting with you. I am fighting with somebody. I know you are the supreme presidency of Godhead, and you have been invited by the demigods. Your activities are perfect and complete, but I, I, still, I'm finding it difficult to understand. Why are you killing me? So Lord Machana said, yes, the duty of those who are very strong is to protect those who are weak. He didn't protect your brother. You would drop him to the forest, and you are sleeping with his wife. It is punishable by death. Adultery is punishable by death. But he, he was enlightened, so he accepted. And he left the body in the presence, in the hands of the Supreme Person of God. He was fortunate. So, Parishim is seeing that as Sukadev Goswami is speaking, he's describing how Krishna is dancing with other people's wife. And he noticed in their mind, they, they are not talking, but in their mind, they're already talking so many things. How is it the Supreme Presidency of Godhead? How is it the, the, the speaker of religion? How is it that the, the person who has come to correct religion, to correct religious activity, to bring religion? Has she became contaminated because in Kali Yuga, this is how the Mayabadi think. Krishna cannot come here because if Krishna comes here, he also has.
have the same experience like all the first. You'll be attracted to so many sinful activities. Therefore, Krishna, Krishna cannot come to the material world. That is their illusion. That is their ignorance. And because they have this ignorance, in their mind they are thinking, is it the Supreme God? Dancing with other people's wives in the dead of night. He personally called for them. And their husbands had, when he was calling for all of them, their husband had. So they knew that their wives have gone to see another man in the dead of night. What is expected? Hmm? What is expected for a boy and a girl in a secluded place if they're not devotees? Who knows the culture? Who knows no illicit sex? What do we expect? Is it a surprise? Will, will anyone be surprised to see the girl pregnant? A girl, a young girl, not, not a barren woman or important man. Both of them are potent and, and, and fatal. They are having association in the dead of night, in the forest, alone. They have full independence. What is expected there? Except we are not the money. Who will stay with uh, Kayadu for years, not, not, not just uh, one night, for years and not be attracted, but instead will train her son to become a devotee. Or Yaharidas Takura, who will stay with the woman, I will never see the woman, he will always see the spirit soul. For those who are not on that level, it is, it is natural that the gay will be pregnant. So they are thinking, how can he do this? For anyone to ask Krishna this question is an offense. Because who is Krishna? He is called here Bhagavan. 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 Krishna is Bhagavan. In Bhagavad Gita, he said, Aham Sarvesha Prabhupada, Mata Sarvati Parvati, Iti Matwa, Bhajantima, Buddha Bhava, Saman Vita. The material and the spiritual world belongs to me. I own it, including everything. All the planetary systems, everything inside, everything inside, both the material and the spiritual, it belongs to me. I own them. I own everything. Krishna is supremely independent, fully independent. And from him, everything originate. Means that even the gay Krishna is dancing with, they are his amsa. So to ask Lord Krishna, why you dance with someone's wife is an offense. It is due to ignorance. One cannot ask Krishna, how do you feel if I ask you, why are you using your watch? Why are you using your watch? <laughs> Why are you using your dress? Why do you use your dress? Why do you use it? It's your dress, but why are you using it? If someone will ask you like that, how will you feel about the person? How will you think about the person? Why are you using your car? Why? Why are you using your car? Your car. Why? Why are you using it? Why are you using your microphone? Why? What will you say? How will you feel about the person? Someone asks you like that. Hmm? <laughs> it's my property. This is my property, and I have right to use my property. You can't ask me why I'm using my property. It's because it's my property. That's why I'm using it. So, if, if everything belongs to Krishna, and someone is asking, why are you dangerous with these girls? Because they're Krishna's property. If it's not Krishna's property, we won't use them. This is property. 
It is Christian who should ask us, why are you using this? Because we are thieves. If you, if you have a wife, and it is Christian who should ask you, what are you doing with this girl? But we are asking Christian, why are you dancing with this girl? That is ignorance. It is an offense. Because everything belongs to Krishna and he has the freedom to use his property anytime he likes, whenever he likes it. So dancing with the girls, he is not dancing with someone's wife. Krishna is not dancing with someone's wife. It is we who are dancing with someone's girl. Because every devotee, every person, all living entities, but in the material and the spiritual, belongs to Krishna. So Krishna has a hundred percent the right to use anything and everything, and and that is the reason why he expanded. Krishna expanded himself. Eko mm. Krishna, I'm one. Let me become many. For what? For enjoyment. That is Krishna's sensation. Him enjoy her, and he has right to enjoy. So, Deva Manga Takura said, Lord Krishna is the only enjoyer, and he is the, the, the only source of all enjoyment. Therefore, to ask him, Why are you dancing with other people's wife? It is proper, uh, the, in the proper, it is said, it is, This question is asked by Karmis and Gyanis and others who were not devotees of the Lord. And Lord Brahma said, for those who are not devotees, they will always talk nonsense. They wouldn't think anything better. They wouldn't act anything better. They would do nonsense because they constantly think nonsensically. They, everything is nonsense. But a devotee will not ask Krishna this question. A devotee will enjoy. Sukadeva Goswami will not ask this question to Krishna. He will not ask about it. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the supreme sannyasi and had no single spot, no trace of doubt in his own character. He sing gopi, 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 gopi. That's the mantra he chant. Not when he was when he was acting as a householder. He's chanting gopi, gopi. When he's sannyasi, he's chanting gopi. Why are you chanting? Because they are not ordinary. They are not ordinary people. Krishna brought them with himself. In Chaitanya Chaitanya, he said, Krishna does come to Goswami. He said, Krishna is talking. Let us go to the material world. Let us go. Let us go to the material world. There in the material world, we will not know each other's identity. In this way, we will be able to enjoy ourselves fully. And by doing this, we will show the whole world how to enjoy. The Christian came to teach us how to enjoy because we don't know how to enjoy. One Rata Yatra journalist asked a Prabhupada, and Swamiji, what are you trying to teach us in this festival? What are you trying to teach us? Prabhupada said, in this festival, I'm trying to teach you how God is enjoying. <laughs> so if you want to enjoy, follow him. We manufacture so many ways to enjoy here, but everything, every, every single thing we have created to enjoy, it ends in disaster. There's nothing could you have created in this material for the purpose of enjoyment it could bring the enjoyment that we're looking for. The end is disaster, according to Prahlad Maharaj. The original disease which I'm suffering from is less than less painful than the means I have adopted to correct the miseries. It brings more suffering. This is not our experience in the material world. Every single thing we have created in this material world for the purpose of enjoyment, it ends in disaster, anxiety, frustration. Every single thing we have created, it does, it does, it does not bring any peace which was the original reason why we are adopting those things. 
none of the things we have created here bring the result we are looking for. The opposite of the result. But it, Pallad Mahan has already said it in the seven kind of water. The process I have adopted, I have created, thinking seriously about the problem, I have manufactured so many ways to contract my miseries. But at the end, I have discovered that it is worse than the original problem. Therefore, we have never advanced, and we will never be advanced until we change our consciousness and follow Krishna without asking him why, but to participate in Krishna's activities. By participating in Krishna's activities, Krishna is telling the journalist, the prophet is telling the journalist, I, I am showing you how God is enjoying so that you can participate in God's enjoyment. We have to follow Krishna's enjoyment. It is only then Living entities in this, in this material world will be happy and satisfied. We cannot get it otherwise because it's not possible. Therefore, anyone who is not studying Bhagavad Gita, who is not hearing these scriptures, who remain perplexed in this material world, we will remain bewildered in this material world. We will remain frustrated in this material world. The only solution is to take to Krishna. Therefore, Krishna performed these wonderful activities and he also engaged his devotees to continue to speak about these activities so we can hear and become free from sufferings. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Comments? Resulted. Lord Ramachandra was very careful not to have break any rules and regulations. He was a perfect king and perfect example to society. But Krishna didn't seem to really uh, follow that same principle. He went all out and had a 16,000 wives and at the same time against the gopis at midnight. And, and of course, Bridget Maharaj was questioning behalf of others who may doubt that. But you, you explain it nicely, but still it seems like out of character that he would do something that other people would follow. Yes. Uh, the, the activities which we should follow and the activities which are only meant for Godhead, for the Supreme Passage of Godhead. <laughs> there are things for Ishwaras, and there are things for those of us who are not Ishwaras. Mm. So, we shouldn't expect that the Krishna should do everything the way we want him to do. We cannot dictate for him. He can dictate for us. So, if we commit adultery, we will suffer for it. If Krishna commits adultery, you cannot say it's adultery. You cannot say it's an adultery. He will not suffer for it. We use a contraceptive tablet, but Krishna used contraceptives. Did we hear that they were pregnant? <laughs> that does not exist. But for we, we will pay seriously. <laughs> For every single thing we manifest to enjoy here, we will pay for it dearly. But Krishna never pay for anything. So he is 100% independent and free to do what he likes with his property.
they're the top most example. Yet, the relationship with Krishna and the Gopis is something that we can't approach, or we shouldn't do. We're born against it. So, so how do we effectively follow the Gopis in our practical, you know, daily lives? Mm. If they're the, if they're the topmost example of the world, mm. then how do we, mere mortals, if you like? Follow their example. Oh. Thank you. After Bihad Bhagwat and Rit, when Naradamuni finished his tour of, of going through all the devotees, and he went back to <laughs> Prayag to meet all the sages that he met in the first time. And then he narrated everything. What was his experience through all these devotees? His, 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 his potency, his purity was so strong that he was able to destroy the remaining, the remaining tiranatas which was there with this, with this age. He was able to destroy all of them. And immediately, all of them tend to build the Western service. So then after this, Parikshan Maharaj told his mother, <laughs> my dear mother, my advice to you is you should cultivate devotion for Krishna exactly the way gopis did. Follow the footsteps of the gopis in their devotion to Lord Krishna. You should have the level of faith they have in Krishna. And you should have a strong attachment for chanting the holy name. So he, 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 this is the conclusion of Prashant Maharaj's instruction to his mother after speaking. To, to worship Krishna according to the way the gopis did. So how did the gopis worship Krishna the practical way we can follow in our, in our, on our own level? How do, we, how do we follow that? One, the, 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 the gopis' faith in Krishna is unquenchable. It is very, very strong. The faith they have for Krishna is very strong. So we can cultivate that. The faith in Krishna. Our faith in Krishna should be very strong. We can copy this from the gopis. Second, the gopis, they worship Krishna without reservation. They serve Krishna without reservation and they are ready to do anything necessary for them to please Krishna. So this also we can, we can cultivate this. I should, I should give myself completely to Krishna. I shouldn't have any reservation in my service. In whatever service I have to do in Krishna consciousness, there shouldn't be any reservation. I should give him completely. Because some of, some of the things that are checking our, our progress in Christian consciousness is our faith is not strong. You're not strong. Our faith is very, very weak. A lot of, the, the, the amount of doubt in our consciousness is so high, you know, as devotees. Very, very high. Our faithlessness, very high. So you can learn this from the gopis. And the, the gopis did not care what would happen to them. That's how they became so dear to Krishna that they were able to sacrifice everything. They were able to sacrifice. What do you sacrifice? They complain for whatever difficulties they pass through in their service to Krishna. They don't care whatever the situation. Risk or no risk, they are ready to do it. So we can learn this from, from the gopis. If, you, if, you, if we learn this, we will be successful in our Christian consciousness. There will be a drastic change in our consciousness if we can put this into practice. We are not, we are not going to start dancing with the Krishna directly, but there is a process to come to that level. Follow their footsteps. It's different from imitating. We are following the standard they set in worshiping Krishna. 
it would be successful. Does it make sense? Yes, bro. Yes, question. To be in the movement, to be in the movement, or to chant Hare Krishna mantra, which we are doing every day, is not just enough. not enough. We should really exist. We have problem hearing as devotees. We don't hear. So if we are not hearing properly, how the doubt will be destroyed? It is mentioned that the Guyanis and the Karmis means they have not given up their nature. Therefore, the doubt is there. The doubt will be destroyed if you are hearing attentively, if you are hearing properly. The Shukadeva Goswami, see, see the science. When Parishit Maharaj was hearing, how was he hearing? He was eye to eye with Sukadeva. They were eye to eye. For seven days, he didn't blink his eyes. That is theory. It means they align themselves together. Therefore, the miracle took place. The same thing happened to Arjun. Paragita, 700 BC, was given to Arjun in 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes. Why Arjun was able to get everything complete? It's not because he's a satriya. It's not because he's a, he is a friend of Krishna. It is because he gave full attention. We are very comfortable in our, our material situation. We are comfortable. As far as we remain feeling comfortable, we will never make serious advancement. As you were having a serious problem, he's going to fight with the people whom he cannot fight with. The Bhishma Dev is there, Dronacharya is there, Karna is there, Jirodhan is there, Ashwatthama. He was going to fight with these people. It's what a perplexity. So when he knew that Krishna has the solution to his problem, he gave full attention. He gave full attention. So. He was able to get it. The same Parishad Maharaj. He got the notice, uh, you're going to leave the body in seven days. That is, that is not a joke, to be informed that you're going to die in seven days. Some people will die before the seven days. There's anxiety. Ah, I'm going to die in seven days. That anxiety, they will die before the seventh day. For some people. But the enlightened people, Parishad Maharaj, he's, he abandoned everything and started looking for the solution. And when he got it, Sukadeva Goswami appeared and he kicked out all the, all the, <laughs> the demigods and the sages who were telling him, don't worry, we'll give you, uh, we'll give you nectar. 
Chuka Derek Goswami uses his, his foot to kick all of them out. You get out. What is nectar? Sit down. I will give you the real thing. Hear about Krishna. This is the solution. So he gave full attention. Chitam Mahaprabhu, he spoke at Madame Abesh to Sarah so Bhagavad Chari only, only nine times. But he spoke the same tune to Sanatana Goswami 61. What, what, is the, what is the difference? In, 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 socially speaking, socially speaking, Sarah Bhagavad Chari was easy a big guy, and Sanatana Goswami was not, if you want to look at it materially. But why Chitam who spoke at Madame Abesh 61? And Sarah Bhagavad Chari 9. It is the quality of their hearing. What's the difference? So we should hear, then the miracle will take place. If you don't hear attentively, you will not experience what they have experienced. There will be difference. So let us hear. What eagerness. Can you imagine to hear what eagerness? Can you imagine when you are eager to eat? Eh? Have you experienced that? You are very eager to eat. How do you feel? Do you sleep? When you are very eager to eat, and palatable dishes is present before you. Our, our favorite. You sleep? You are very active. Even someone is talking, but you are not here. But we are hearing, when we say distraction, what does it mean? Distraction. Distraction is for those who are external. For those who are inside, they will not feel the distractions. We are distracted because we are not inside. We are not connected. We are not spaced in. For those who are spaced into bhakti, they will not feel any distraction. But because we are spaced out, we will be distracted by what is happening around us. Hare Krishna. Simad Bhagavatam ki jaya. Sila Bhagavatam ki jaya.